The 2009 Hyundai Elantra. The car that your grandmother drives because Corolla is a too mainstream. The 2009 Hyundai Elantra is a compact car that you can put your kids in. Under the hood, we find the 2-liter Hyundai Beta 2, which makes good power at 142 horsepower and 137 foot-pounds of torque. One thing that makes this car so special is how generic it is. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that the car is just super generic. It's got a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine. It's got the 4-speed transmission. It feels like every other car on the road. There's nothing special about this car, but that's what gives it its charm. It's just how a car should be. It's like how every other compact car should be based off of, like the, the rules of a compact car. It's built so basically. It, all it's got for special features is a seat warmer, and it's also got a CD player with an auxiliary jack. The car has no luxuries, but that's all you need. You just got a radio and just seat warmers, and that's about it. But the thing is, is that the sound system is amazing on it. There's loads of bass. You don't need a subwoofer, ever buy a subwoofer for one of these. When you're driving the car, the gas pedal is super sensitive, but the brakes aren't that sensitive. And also, the, I find the suspension being real stiff, but it's a really nice drive and steering is really responsive. Except for when you're going over potholes. If you go over a St. John pothole at 20 kilometers an hour, you're going to break your back in this thing. Plenty of room in the back to put your stuff. And plenty of room for the donut, too. One thing is that the Beta 2 sounds awesome. So if you want to be a douchebag and rev at girls, then go right ahead. From the back end, it kind of sounds like somebody stuck a fart can to a lawnmower, but I think it's just my camera. But yes, that is my extremely brief review on the 2009 Hyundai Elantra, and I thank you for watching.